Good morning, YouTube. It is Toya Ruth here with the Divas in the Details. And I just wanted to say um, my vacation begins now. So this is that glorious time of the year where um, <laughs> I exchange gifts with my team and I tell them we rocked it, we're resilient, we did it. 2020 was a roller coaster, but we made it to the end of that ride and I will see you next year. So I am not seeing patients again and going back to work until January 5th. So while I love, love, love seeing um, my patients, I um, do need time to kind of reflect and recover from this year and spend that valuable time with my family and then start fresh for 2021 and set some goals. So very excited about this time to kind of regroup. So. I have three very different fragrances for you today that I want to share with you. And we're just going to hop right into it. So the first fragrance, this is a tester bottle. So no cap, no frills, but I got it for a deal. And it is none other than Il Profumo's Vanilla Bourbon. And you can see that it actually says tester on the back. Let me say first, this bottle is very minimalist, but it's a sturdy, heavy, nicely done bottle. The atomizer is um, sub not substantial, but it, it, it has... Um, um, it's well made. It's like, it doesn't feel flimsy like it's going to break like some perfumes may feel. I'm going to talk to you about this fragrance because this is a very interesting fragrance. Vanilla bourbon, I was expecting just straight booze and vanilla, but it opens up citrusy. So it has lemon blossom in the opening. Um, heliotrope. I love heliotrope. So I had talked about heliotrope in a previous video. It is a purple flower that kind of smells like vanilla apple pie. And it is just such a lovely fragrance so like whenever you have heliotrope in a fragrance just assume that it is a gourmand vanilla fragrance um in addition to whether or not it actually explicitly has vanilla in it so the middle has heliotrope tierra flower orchid it dries down to rosewood vanilla and ambergris this particular fragrance i love it because it is so smooth it is rich it is um very warm um i wish it had more of a rum in it, more of a boozy um, component to it, but I see what they mean, how it blends together very, very well. Um, this is cozy. This is not too, too sweet, but it is um, warm and inviting. So Il Profumo Vanilla Bourbon, if you weren't checking for it, this is a great fragrance. Um, this would just go well in my collection with my many other vanilla fragrances. So really, really like this one. Um, it has about average sillage, so when you put it on, as far as how it projects out to others, it's about average. Um, for me, this is a fragrance that will last in the six-hour range, so I will probably reapply one time um, on my skin. But on items, like if I spray this on a scarf, it's going to last like a day. So if you want to make this fragrance last a little bit longer, be prepared to spray midday. Um, if you're going to be out all day or spray like your scarf or spray like your gloves or your hat or your coat and then you'll have um, all day for that particular fragrance. Okay, the next one, this is a fragrance that um, I first saw, I think her name is on the Top Notes channel when she was going through her entire fragrance collection and it is none other than Maison Replicas by the Fireplace. So this is... Okay, let me say the name properly. This is Mason Martin Margiela <laughs> Replica by the Fireplace. Okay, this fragrance is an interesting fragrance. So this is in the opening, clove, and this is pink pepper, this is orange blossom. You will find quite often that many vanilla fragrances balance out the smoothness of vanilla with like an orange blossom or a bergamot. Um, so orange and vanilla tend to be like best friends. They hang out together all the time. <laughs> so um, not surprised there. Was surprised by the clove um, because it kind of makes it open a little bit medicinally. Um, yeah, kind of like a clinical medicinal type of opening. Um, but I do still smell some of the orange. And then the middle notes are the chestnut, the guyac wood, the juniper. So now we have, you know, started the fire. We're in front. Of, we're in the den. We started the fire and things are getting roasting. The bottom notes are vanilla, balsam, and cashmere. Okay. It has a medicinal opening. Um, it's not off-putting, but it is an interesting opening. 
um, and then it flows into like straight up smoke and vanilla, literally chestnuts roasting by the open fire. Um, and then it kind of dries down into more and more woods. So smoking woods with a little bit of lingering vanilla. This smells to me like holiday, winter, we're cozy. Um, it's just... This is a homey fragrance. I don't want to say that like it's um, not a compliment, but this feels like I am secure. I'm at home. I'm with the best people. Um, and this is just winter love, basically. So I really like this one. Um, this is um, so, 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 so beautiful. Um, it's not a linear note. This has good sillage, so it projects really well. This can fill up a room. It does have longevity. This is a very nice fragrance. It's just so interesting the way it opens and it dries down kind of um, completely different. So that's why I have to keep smelling it. I'm like, oh, I really find that interesting and I like it. So the last fragrance could have warranted its own video. Um, this is a vanilla that is so complex. So this is none other than Christian Dior's Feve Delicious. And let me just, before I get into the notes, I could put this to my nose over and over again because it's just so beautiful. It's complicated. It's lovely. It's just, oh, yes, Christian Dior. <laughs> so this launched in 2015. The top notes are lavender, mint, and bergamot. And so no surprises with the bergamot, the orange. I already talked about that. But this lavender is so pleasant along with the mint. It's very, 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 very soothing. Um, that's just beautiful. I love that. Um, the middle notes, are interesting. There's sour cherry, there's jasmine, there's freesia. Um, then it kind of dries down in the base to vanilla, cacao pot, so like chocolatey, caramel, praline, all the stuff we gourmands love um benzoin milk sandalwood leather and tonka bean okay this is a complicated fragrance this starts off it's soothing it's everything you need for to go to bed um it, then it turns like soury vanilla it's like a citrus soury vanilla and then it's spicy it's warm this is a complicated scent um I almost feel like you could be in three different moods when you wear this and this is gonna have you completely covered. Um, this fragrance has moderate to high sillage, so it, it does project and it has excellent longevity. Christian Dior, um, they know what they're doing um, as far as the blend. This is beautifully blended. Um, all of these fragrances, I would order over and over again. Um, these can be staples in anybody's collection. Um, they give you a very different feel. The closest together would be the replica and the vanilla bourbon. But um, what the replica has, the vanilla bourbon does not have is all of that smoke. Um, yes, the smokiness, the, the interesting layer on top of the clove and the pink pepper. Um, this is much smoother um, and this can be worn more out. This is a, a deeper, darker vanilla than this one. Um, and then the Feb Delicious. Oh, this could be somebody's signature scent. This is very beautiful. Um, when you smell this on a person, if this were their signature scent, you would know that that's that person because it is such a complex scent. It is beautifully blended. It's very unique. It is not like your run-of-the-mill um, designer fragrance, even though Christian Dior is a designer brand. This is definitely um, a showcase of their ability to crank it up a notch with their niche um, blends. Very, 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 very beautiful. So if you enjoyed these three vanillas that... Um, I talked about today, please like and subscribe to support the channel. Meet me over on Instagram and follow me on Instagram. I'd be happy to have you. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. I hope that you spend it with people that you love. You sow a seed of kindness into a stranger or someone in need. 
And just remember, XOXO, the divas in the details. Bye.